Hey friends, this video is titled, How to Increase Peace, Power, and Positive Mindset. I believe that ultimately we all want peace and fulfillment more than anything else. By the way, please like and share this. Of course, there are other things we want other than peace and fulfillment, and the truth is, we must actualize some of these other things if we are to attain deep and lasting fulfillment, right? Of course, fulfillment itself comes primarily from these other things, primarily but it still emanates from within. We all want to grow to contribute. We want stimulation and to matter. And actualizing these things will bring fulfillment. So here are five tips to create greater peace and help you achieve everything else that you want, including fulfillment and the other subcategories. Number one, accept only self-compassion and positive self-talk. This is a tough one. Most of us engage in self-flagellation to one degree or another most of the time. Make it an active and habitual practice to seek out and compliment yourself on your skills, your virtues, and your wins each day. Now, let me repeat that. Make an active and habitual practice of this, as opposed to occasionally possibly remembering to do it. In fact, right now, put this video on pause, do come back, get out your smartphone, and schedule a reminder for twice a day, every day, for the next month so you won't forget and you'll make it a habit. Seriously, do it now. Otherwise, you will forget. And a great and positive and simple tool for your happiness, fulfillment, and success will go to waste. Do it now. Look, habitually recognize, praise, and congratulate yourself as you would a small child you love deeply. At the end of each day, make a list of three to five things you did well. And then also add one thing you'll do better next time and how you'll do it better. Always keep this ratio skewed it to at least three to one, preferably five to one, positive to next time I'll do better. Okay, number two, never compare yourself to another human being. We all have our own path. We all have our own brain, mind, personality, and circumstances. Another's path has no bearing whatsoever on our validity, ability, or journey, other than in empowering lessons we can take from their lives. Learn from others, but don't ever compare yourself, positive or negative, to others. Believe in yourself. Be aware of and grateful for your strengths while determined to constantly grow and improve. All right, number three, accept, even celebrate, that life will absolutely have disappointments and pain. We all want to grow, right? We all want to figure things out. We all want to succeed and we all want to matter. Well, if we aren't growing and developing, our lives can't grow and develop. Let me ask you, when do we grow most? Heck, for most of us, when do we grow at all? It's when. It's when we experience obstacles Disappointments, frustrations, and yes, even pain. That's when we grow most. So hack your mind to revel in obstacles and in disappointments and even pain. Know that they are not permanent, nor are they an indication of any lack on your part. See and feel them as beautiful opportunities to take advantage of and accelerate personal development. They bring us closer to being the person and success for which we are destined. <clears throat> okay, number four, there is no failure but in failing to begin or failing to continue. Let me repeat that. There is no failure but in failing to begin or failing to continue. I passionately believe this to be true. Whatever our outcomes, we only fail in not trying or in giving up. Stay true to your ultimate purpose, mission, and vision, and adjust your strategies and tactics as wisdom dictates. By the way, changing direction isn't necessarily failure or negative. Don't give up on your dreams. Stay true to your soul. If you're meant, truly meant for a path other than the one you're currently on, accept that and move on passionately into the new direction. Be generous, loving, kind, and compassionate with yourself. Have and hold yourself to high standards, absolutely, but with loving compassion and optimism that you will capitalize and prevail in all circumstances. 
Treat yourself with the love, patience, and, and compassion that a wise, altruistic elder would treat the beautiful soul of a child. Number five, love yourself. Believe that you are perfect, but that you will become more perfect today and tomorrow because the journey is never over. Keep the self-image. Constantly love, support, praise, and humor yourself again as you would a child or a friend that you most love or would love to be supported by another. But also keep the thirst for personal development and success burning within. We are all works in process, perfect as we are, but driven to an ever higher level of perfection today and tomorrow. There you have it. Five habitual practices that will help you bring what you are after. Love, peace, prosperity, growth, stimulation, probably anything else your soul and your mind desire.